What's going on guys? Um, Nicholas back with another video um, today. Very exciting. Um, Red Dragon actually reached out to me about a week and a half, two weeks ago, um, asking if I wanted to review a speaker um, for um, gaming PCs. Um, I, I didn't really look at the ad or anything like that going into things, but as soon as I got it, I did a little bit of looking. I wish I caught my first impressions because this thing has one cool feature that I think validates its price point. Now, I'm going to show you the speakers and you'll be able to see B-roll of it right now. But here they are. They're connected to each other um, so you can't really separate them um, and they're USB A powered um, and as you can see there's a really weird spot on the top um, for a dial I thought that was really strange at first I was like why would they add a dial to the top of the speaker it's very very weird in my opinion um, but once I realized what its cool feature was, it made a lot of sense. So, the best part of these speakers is you can have them on your desktop, just two speakers, one on each side. From what I can tell, I haven't tested them through my PC because my PC actually won't recognize them um, at all. I left them plug in, plugged in for about 10-20 minutes, PC wouldn't recognize them. Um, that's not saying much though, um, if you're buying these you're probably buying them because you don't have you know, the Wavelink and the Arctis Pro um, hub thing that charges the wireless batteries and stuff. Um, so I mean, not to flex, but I do have a, a little bit better of a setup um, and then I just have everything running out into a speaker or when I turn on my headphones my headphones turn on So I couldn't test these for gaming purposes But they don't sound bad Tested it they're Bluetooth. They have Bluetooth in them um, The Bluetooth sounds really good. It actually sounds almost as good as my stock speakers in my new 2022 Ford Escape, which I thought was crazy, absurd. Um, I haven't really tried a bassy song. Um, there will probably be a text right here um, letting you know because I will test it. Um, kind of a, a bassy thing. Um, we're going to test a bass song, see just how deep those basses are. Um, and you know maybe I'll even have a clip uh, where I give you my reaction on the bass. The speakers sound really good. They're really clear. Um, also, I just want to preface. Uh, Red Dragon only shipped this out to me. They said, can you make a video on it? I said, yes. They sent it to me. I'm not getting paid at all. So this is my honest and raw opinion of the product. Um, the coolest feature and the reason why... The knob is here is because you can actually combine the speakers together if you prefer to have a subwoofer they turn into a subwoofer now I've only tried them in subwoofer positioning um, so far so 
maybe we'll have to test them out separately. Um, but even my girlfriend, she was in the room and she's like, those are pretty good speakers. How much are they? I'm like, to be honest, they're probably like 50 bucks. Um, I'm not really too sure. So yeah. So correction, as of the time I am recording this on May 24th, 2023, um, right now it's priced at $49.99, so $50, but on Amazon, which there will be a link in the description below, they have a $10 off coupon. Um, if you use the link in the description below, um, thank you. That will support the channel. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I do get a 10% cut of your purchase. So thank you for that. The, the second thing I'd like to note is that it does advertise as a sound bar. Which, I mean, is pretty cool. Red Dragon, I've used their stuff before. It's decent stuff. It's not horribly priced. It's usually um, the budget uh, peripherals you go with. I was definitely not disappointed with this. Mind you, I also didn't spend the $50 price point. But even if I did spend the $50, I don't think I'd be upset about it. Um, the only thing is, I have no use for a speaker. I mean, not one like this. Um, my PC doesn't have a Bluetooth um, piece uh, built into the motherboard, so I'd have to go out and get a, a Bluetooth adapter for that. Not really looking to do that, but like I said, that's only because the USB was not recognizing through my computer, which is okay. Um, my computer was still turning on the RGB that's in this thing, which they have a couple different modes. Um, and you control it through the dial. Uh, see the B-roll here. Um, overall, nothing too fancy. It's not like there's an app. Red Dragon's never been well known for having an application to control your RGB on. Um, and this is kind of no exception. Um, they are 6 watt uh, speakers and let's see that seems to be 5.3 wireless bluetooth connection um, and now they're claiming that the cable's length is 41.7 inches, which I mean is probably accurate. That's probably around three and a half feet, um, maybe a little bit more, four feet. Um, so that's probably accurate. Uh, says it's good for a PC, TV, laptop, and other devices, um, but it seems like it's only able to connect to those through Bluetooth. Um, I was certainly interested in looking at um, whatchamacallit. Um, looking at plugging it into the TV behind me there. Uh, via USB and seeing if it would recognize the USB device as a speaker and play through the speaker, but um, I'm in the middle of moving so there's a lot of Things around me as you can see I have my new uh, desk um, top right behind me here um, Then I have a bunch of stuff on the floor uh, just crazy time I'm moving in about uh, exactly one week from tomorrow so yeah um, I think in my opinion if I was going to use this frequently I would bring it camping with me it'd be a really good camping speaker especially in subwoofer positioning and again 
you can pull them apart, um, nothing's stopping them, but they do slide back together fairly easy. The RGB, it's a little flashy, but I mean, if you're an RGB head, it's kind of nice to have. Um, so it shows these lines and these lines, show us the RGB, and then the, the tops of each speaker are also RGB. Um, the dial, the only complaint I had about the dial was the infinity wheel. Um, it doesn't have like a, it kind of has a tactile, like you, you feel every notch, but I, I wish it stopped in one direction. I, I kind of understand why it doesn't because I'm sure it's something to do with the RGB control, but I mean, that's just a little thing that I don't like and it might not even ruin it for you. I mean this thing's $50 and it's well worth the price without the RGB. So um, I guess give me one second I'll set it up and you guys can hear the sound. Not gonna lie just finished the base test out of my car um, as you saw in the previous, um, one of the previous clips, update, the base ain't all there. Um, could definitely use a little heavier base. Um, it's actually probably non-existent. So if you're a base head, probably don't look at this speaker. But for casual um, music listening and such, it's probably good enough and I mean for 50 bucks you can't go wrong I I honestly feel like you can't go wrong with this uh, speaker for $50 and right now it's $40 come on no-brainer go pick it up that's all I'm gonna say leave you guys off there peace